Okay, let's do this. I've had a whole, I, I, I had a 48 hours, my goodness. I found this in the refrigerator. Some sort of weird uh, Aki, something original, blah, blah, blah. Close the head, what did it have? Antioxidants, omegas, and uh, it's non GMO, and put every shop of them. Keep refrigerated. What's in here? Ingredients. Uh, I'll forget it. It's stuff. It's supposed to be modern things, right? So, anyway, mm. let me get this other way. I can show you what I got. Treasure trove. Can you hear me better now? Okay. Treasure trove. Well, let's see what I got. You know, we had the thing from Mamiya down low east side of, you know, Steve, um, the late great peace and blessings on his soul, Steve Cannon area, neighborhood. And then some, um, I thought I should talk to you face to face for just a second. I'll try to stay there. No, 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 you can't hear me. Look, you don't have to see me. You know what I look like. Let's see who we got here. This brother, I got the, you know, I forgot his name, but the brother gave me his name. You know, he's, uh, something happened, you know, I'll talk about. It. Well, I'm, when I get back in August, I'm going to interview this brother. He's one, of, he's one of the original, not this brother, but the brother that's selling these buttons. He's one of the original, you know, Panther 21. You know, with the Drew Rabin, what high stuff that. Oh, you know something? Oh, I got, well. The guy that was the foreman of the jury that really got them off is a black guy. He wrote this opera, whatever it is, some other time. You know, this is Sada Shakur. Hey, good picture, you know. There you go. I met her in Cuba for a second. Say hello. You can't see her now in Cuba. They got, man, you can't get near her now in Cuba because, you know, Biden, Trump, whatever have you. <gasps> this is a treasure. This is Carlos Cooks. Carlos Cooks. I mean, one of my, not get re regrets, but one of the things I didn't do, like in the 80s, I could have interviewed her, but did one of my audio, you know, audio, um, audio um, uh, documentaries. Um, I used to do those kind of things uh, when he was alive, I guess. In the 80s, I could have got him. But this is the guy, he influenced Malcolm X. He was the one, he's up in Harlem. Uh, Alambe Braff, he was the one that started the whole Black is Beautiful movement. That's right. It's a little history for you. Ah, here you go. Hey, everybody talk about reparations, whatever, and Queen Mother Moore. Well, this Queen Mother Moore, when she's got a Jesse Jackson button there. I used to hang out with those people down on 16th Street. Anyway, this is Queen Mother Moore. They talk about reparations. You know, pff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into that controversy. You'll leave that alone. It's not a controversy. And people just don't want to talk. And of course, we did Mamiya. The reason why I like this button is because I knew Mamiya as a journalist, right? So um, it, when he was working at a radio station in Philadelphia, because with, in Emanations, because I was helping out with white, white, with Emanations, when Emanations, when the whole thing with uh, what was happening at the time, was it the early move? Well, whatever happened, we had him on the radio, you know, uh, telephonically. You know, Bernard, and I guess I must have threw some questions in there. So, but I don't know if Bernard has these tapes because they all want to talk about that. Yeah, they had to, uh, Bernard's tapes are gone. And, of course, we got uh, Bobby Seale. What's that in the background? It must be a lane. Well, somebody. Button there. Free Bobby. Free, oh, Erica. This must be Erica. Whatever. All power to the people. Okay. Black Panther Party. You know, Mamiya was a Black Panther early age. That's why they want to get get him. This is interesting. Oh, this is fantastic. Well, oh, before I get, let me do more Black Panthers. Of course, this is a uh, chairman, Huey Newton. Brilliant guy. I mean, I don't understand, man. You know, talk about balance, out of balance or in balance and out of balance. You know, he even got his, he even got his, uh, is it a doctorate? I think I, I, I don't, I don't think I read his thesis, but it's supposed to be good. So I got that. Oh, finally, I got a Fred Hampton button. I've been looking for one of these things for three years, you know. So I got a Fred Hampton button, or a Fred Hampton image. That's part of my collection now. Here. Uh, oh, yeah. This brother, uh, 
or two, because they, they have him in prison. I mean, everything is trumped up. This is my problem. All the revolution. Look, all these people talking about whatever. Just what, why do, can't we get these folks out of jail when they trumped up? We, we, the, our politicians are absolutely no good. Absolutely no good. This is a doctor. This brother's amazing. And I meant to several uh, things about his his case. You know, he's in jail for another ten whatever years. You know. Um, oh, here's a picture I never seen. I think this is. I think this is uh, Fannie Lou Hamer, but a rare picture. Of, I haven't seen this picture here of Ham Fannie Lou Hamer. I think it's Fannie Lou Hamer. Yeah, it's Fannie Lou Hamer. Uh, but a different kind of. You haven't seen her like this. Okay. But here's here's the creme de la creme. De, I don't know. I'm just using that word. I don't know what that means. So. Guess who? Guess who? This is a young picture. Look at that. Look at that. I did a, uh, when when they had her funeral, I did a documentary, um, an audio documentary on her at the station. It was just really fantastic. This is her again as a as a older woman. Still don't know who it is? Come on. Come on. One of the greatest people. She's the one. Look, She's the one who, who advised SNCC. I'll give you that hint. She's the one, if it wasn't for her, there would be no Martin Luther King doing one of these things. That's right. I'll, I'll keep on going. You know, she she had asthma and she still hung out with those people who smoking in, in those smoke-filled rooms, you know, with you know, Stokely Carmichael at the time, you know, the H-Rap around those people like that, you know. Um, anyway, that's right. Ella Josephine Baker. Unbelievable. I, this, is, this is a fine. So anyway, I would talk to her brother. So that's it. It was worth uh, doing to the Momia thing. Of course, uh, my rehearsal was good with myself, but but then you know the performance. I don't know. I, I messed up on one word, estacion, which I actually know that word, but I don't know. I might post it if I get it, but I'll, I'll post the rehearsal that I did. But then um, my brother, uh, buddy, oh well, Dr. James Kanye, he did a really good job. Our presentation was nice, I guess, except for me. But then again, you know. I used to do these things. Can I say this? I used to do these things where I, when I when I uh, when I do a, a piece, I would say, "Look, everybody, relax. And if anybody's going to make a mistake, it's me. All the mistakes will be on me." And so, of course, I make mistakes. This is probably why I don't act and I don't do stuff like that. I like to produce and direct. That's why I'm the way I am. Anyway, just to let you know, this is T from the Pattersons taking the trains to bed. Letting you know, uh, hey, what I got, where, and I also suspect. Later.